Hello there, my dandelions and dapperlings. I have been wanting to do this video for a little while and I never had the courage or the conviction to do it. Now I do. So I'm doing the do and doing the answering your assumptions about me. And I haven't read any of them yet and I'm super nervous. Holy moly gosh golly. There are 49. Oh, that's way too hot. It was like Pompeii in my mouth. <laughs> The very first assumption, are you gay? I do come across as rather flamboyant. I'm not gay, I'm not straight, and I'm not attracted to gender or bits. I am what I call a sapiophile, which basically means you fall in love with someone's mind. I don't really care what the outside package is or the downstairs package is. It's basically, if I can fall in love with your mind, then I can fall in love with you. Yes, I'm a sapiophile. You like coffee more than tea. I can't stand tea. I realize that the queen will send me a letter of complaint for saying that. You buy those fancy diaries, journals, you find in bookshops and never write in them. <laughs> How dare you? Out me like this and know me so well. Yep, that's exactly what I do. I'm, I'm there and I'm touching the journal. I'm like, oh yeah, that's got a real texture to it. Ooh, blank, just as I like them. For all the words, I'm not going to write in it. Or I start like three, four pages and I'm like, well, I've desecrated it now and throw it. Uh, you ship Wolfstar. I do. It's not my number one ship. My number one ship, if you haven't guessed, is Grindledore the best. You collect small knickknacks. No! No! <laughs> that one is incorrect. I really dislike stuff. I'm <laughs> a minimalist. Visual clutter makes me feel physically sick. <laughs> You're one of those people who have hundreds of ideas floating around your head, but you just don't have the time or the resources to create all of them. <laughs> if I'm not creating, I quite literally go insane. I get a sort of what is akin to cabin fever. I have hundreds of ideas in my head. I probably actually have the time, but it's the resources that I don't have because some of them are quite large scale projects. But I'm, I'm hoping to put a couple of those into fruition soon. So watch this face. When visiting someone's house or apartment for the first time, doing practically anything feels like an invasion of their privacy to you. Yeah, I am so awkward when I visit someone's house for the first time. That is horribly correct. You guys are quite good at this. This is rather scary. Mind is a library full of stories. Guys, stop. As I said, I've got hundreds of stories going through my head at all times, characters come all the time. I don't have the confidence to do anything with them, really. You don't like politics. You are correct. I know bugger all about politics. I know more about 18th century American politics than I do about modern day politics. Your dream field of work is to be a historian. I am actually a tour guide for a historical site already, so I, I sort of do that. My dream job is to be an actor. Like that, that's always been my dream job. Not in films, in the theatre. You wear bow ties and waistcoats to work. I don't wear them to work because I have to wear uniform at work, unfortunately. But while I'm at home, ties, suits, bow ties, that is my wardrobe. <laughs> you don't like wearing shoes in yours or anyone else's house and you hoard little things. Both are wrong, I'm afraid. Pretty much one of the first things I do in the morning is put my shoes on. If I can get away with wearing my shoes in someone's house, I will. I'll always offer to take them off, of course. If they're like, oh no, leave your shoes on, I'm like, thank Cthulhu. I do not hoard little things. Oh, again, I'm not a hoarder in any way. I, I detest material objects. Uh, you are the type of person that will sit under a tree and read a book. Yeah, I would do that. You know how to use chopsticks. I do know how to use chopsticks. A person who is filled with creative zest and passion probably doesn't give themselves enough credit for all the good they do, and most importantly, someone who could probably stand to hear how brilliant they are at least one more time. God, Jesus, I'm actually welling up. God almighty, that. I am very grateful for that. I don't know how to react to it. <laughs> You're the type of person who tries to paint, but then you end up getting more paint on yourself than the canvas. Oh my lord, is that the truth? I don't paint, but if I did, that would be a hard truth because when I painted my apartment, I was just covered, I was covered in paint. Although you say you don't like people that much, you would go out your way to talk to a random person on the street in order to pet their dog. <laughs> did this yesterday. You get lonely often. I think I think it's very important to be comfortable when you're in company and I've lived alone for a long time. I don't get lonely often. That's 
That's not the correct assumption. You're the type of person that plans out their entire day and then does something completely different. Hmm. Some days I will be super proactive and I'll be like, here's my to-do list. And I'll, you know, do it to military standards. And then some days that goes out the window. So you're sort of half right because it depends on what mood I'm in. You care too deeply about the people when you're in a relationship or a friendship. You give everything you have and when they disappoint you or when the relationship ends, it kills you. Mm. Ending, ending any relationship or friendship is always difficult. But I also believe that you can't change the past and I also believe that people change whether that be you or them. They have no control if you've changed and you have no control if they've changed as people. If people disappoint me or if I cut ties or anything like that. It's just one of those things of I hope the best for them and I hope that they hope the best for me and you just move on in life. It's like life's too short to dwell upon the past. I think if you spend time pining and regretting something, you're wasting time. Instead, you should fixate on the good times you did have and cherish those memories and then move forward. That saying of, don't look back, you're not going that way. A soft bean who deserves all the love in the world and one of the finest actors and cosplayers that I know. That's very sweet. <laughs> and I secretly have a collection of random objects that I've used in videos. If I have finished a series or a costume or anything like that, then they go very fast. They either get thrown out, recycled, or donated. You're a nervous giggler and probably have a few stories of giggling at inappropriate times. Oh yeah, I'm a nervous laugher. I have a long track record <laughs> of laughing at bad times. You love with your whole heart, whether it's romantic or platonic. I, yes, I feel love very strongly. Yes. <laughs> you would love to have fur babies or plant babies, but you're scared you're not going to give them enough care or attention. So true. Like, I am desperate to keep plants and I am desperate to own animals, but because the amount I travel, the amount I go out and leave the place, I just don't have time to keep pets or plants. And it makes me super sad because I freaking love animals. Inside your head, there is a joyful cacophonous cohort of voices, all telling stories and singing songs. Some are historical, some fantastical. We get to share a bit of this in your videos. Holy sh look a plum fairy. Too accurate for words. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Why am I so bad? That's technology. <laughs> You're dating that person who's been appearing in your videos lately. Sorry, I don't know their name. That's Robin. And yes, we are seeing each other. We, are, we have been for about a month. You're an overthinker. If overthinking burned calories, I would be dead. I am a chronic overthinker, chronic warrior at all times. I think that's why I'm so bad at communication and I'm quite introverted in that way because I, I think the less people I communicate with, the less chance I have of letting people down. So I sort of keep myself to myself. You're a passion seeker. I'm primarily in an intellectual and emotional sense, a seeker of thrills. Your passions rule even the mundane every day and you can find beauty in the small things. Victor. How dare thee! Jesus, Victor! I have a phrase that I use all the time which is life without passion is pointless. Passion to me is everything. Enthusiasm is everything. Because so many people are always reaching out for something bigger and better when really often what they want is right in front of them. You prefer cats over dogs. Oh no. Oh no. I am a dog person through and through. I'm very happy because my family have just gotten a new puppy. She's called Fudge and she's a tiny spaniel. You're secretly a wizard from the past whose time travel experiment backfired and now you're stuck in the future. Your assumption is correct, sir. You know too much. <laughs> Right, his real assumption. When you get into a book you're reading, you mark it up, crack the spines, dog ear the pages and make it your own. Indeed I do. I don't like this, this neat book nonsense. I like being able to crack and break them. Love them hard. <laughs> you're a hardwoods person instead of a carpet person. Yes. Staying still is not your vibe. Jesus, I am atrocious for sitting down. You would look at the clear sky night and even though you know the constellations and their stories, you'd be the type of person to connect to random stars and make up stories about the constellation that you form. No, I don't, but I want to. I know the myths behind most majority of the constellations, but no, I've never made up stories of my own for them, but I may have to start doing that. You adore people, but you get tired from everyone's energies around you. You're an empath is what I'm trying to explain. I adore having people around. I enjoy the chaos energy. I love it. But after a while, I'm like, okay, bye bye. I'm going to go hibernate. Um, you listen to Dark Academia, Royal Core, Light Academia playlists on YouTube. 
You also either love Studio Ghibli movies or you have never watched one. Dark Academia. Yes, I do listen to Dark Academia playlists on Spotify and I'm proud of that. And I love Studio Ghibli films. Yeah. People doubted your acting abilities to begin with. Oh yeah, I was told at a young age, Jack, you can't act. Uh, it's why I never pursued acting professionally. It seems like you would do almost anything for another person's happiness. Making other people happy gives me a lot of happiness. In a sort of selfish way, if I can make other people happy, I sort of feel better. You give off the vibe of someone who gives the best hugs, always smells nice, or house always smells nice. I have been told that I give very good hugs. I have been told that by multiple people that I give good hugs. And I've been told by multiple people that I smell good. From what I've been told, your assumptions are correct. You would do absolutely anything for those you love, friends, family, romantic partners, uh, but have trouble accepting any help offered by them. How do you know this? I like giving time to people, I like helping other people. When they offer it back, I'm like, I'm fine, you're fine, thank you. I very much struggle to accept help from other people. You can probably quote a line scene song from most major musicals or theatre show. Yeah. You have always loved making costumes and acting out characters. Always adored that from a very, very young age. I have enjoyed costume making, performing, creating stories. I'm a storyteller. Those were, I would say, 80% correct across the board. It's quite scary how well you guys know. <laughs> I, I thought they'd be quite outlandish and I'd be like, wrong, wrong, but no. Turns out, I think you guys have cameras in my apartment. Um, but thank you for everyone who commented and left an assumption. And thank you for your sweet compliments and comments as well. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember that life without passion is pointless. And of course, stay magical. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video.